Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're on the topic of remote work destinations. So for all of you who are digital nomads, or if you're dreaming of becoming a digital nomad, Europe is an ideal place to start your remote work journey. working as a digital nomad for six years and I've lived and worked through 20 different European countries. So I came up with this list based on my own experiences so I could help you in your planning stages. But before we jump in, I'd like to say thank you to Wonderium for sponsoring this video. I'm really excited to share Wonderium with you because if you have not heard of Wonderium, your brain is going to love this place. Especially for all of you who come back to watch my videos, I know you love learning as much as I do. And if you have an interest of bettering yourself or you want to continue challenging yourself, then this product will satisfy all of that. Wondrium is where you find the answer to everything you've ever wondered about. Their carefully curated collection of short and long form videos, tutorials, how to's, travel logs, documentaries, and more is academically comprehensive, thoroughly researched, it's so entertaining, and presented by engaging experts. If you've watched my past videos, you know I'm a history nerd. I've sifted through the great courses section to watch videos about a country I'm traveling to, and I swear it changes the way I feel when I'm walking around a city after watching some of these videos. And if you're a digital nomad, I know that you're constantly thinking about your finances and your budget. There's a series about money management skills like creating a financial plan and saving for retirement. Among so many other things to learn here, I know this place is for you. So if you've ever wondered about anything, Wondrium will be your new favorite obsession. And they're offering all of you a free trial. So please show your support for my channel and subscribe to Wondrium. Visit wondrium.com slash Haley Takes on the World or click on the link in the description below to start your free trial today. Seriously, you're going to love this place and it will get you so excited to learn even more about the world around us. All right, let's get back to learning even more and talk about your digital nomad journey in Europe. So first, let's talk about four key factors that I look at when choosing a destination as a digital nomad. I'm going to use this criteria to rank each destination with one to five stars. First and foremost, your cost of living is the most important part of choosing where you're going to be located. You want things to be reasonably priced so that you have budget to spare on all of the other things that you're really in that place for. Food, excursions, entertainment, all around exploring. You absolutely need fast Wi-Fi connection to do your job, right? This is the foundation of remote work. You need to have access to all your resources. You need to be able to talk to your team or your coworkers without lines dropping. So good, reliable, internet is key to your success. Usually the city that you choose is going to be a place that you've never been before. So it's good to have easy transportation to get around local areas and perhaps even affordable flight options to get around to well-connected cities or countries that you might want to explore as well. And lastly, whether you are a solo digital nomad or you're traveling with a partner, the remote work life can get pretty lonely sometimes, especially if you're constantly setting up a new home. So it's good to be surrounded by opportunities where you can network, whether it's finding your local cafes to work in or finding a co-working space or figuring out where all of the expats hang out. On top of that, I would just say that being in an area with a big restaurant and a big nightlife scene and plenty of activities and local events going on is key to filling your days with new experiences and adventures to be had. Now that we've covered the foundation for remote work success, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these destinations in Europe. It is a really exciting time to be a digital nomad in Europe right now because there are so many countries that are working hard to make new laws encouraging both long and short-term tourists to visit or base themselves from. So from my experiences living and working in Europe, I've chosen the top five destinations that I personally have thrived in as part of the digital nomad community. So first off, Croatia. Oh, I love Croatia. Croatia is a country with a pretty turbulent past few decades, but the country and the people have risen out of the conflict and is now seeing a huge boom in tourism and tech. Honestly, Croatia has it all. 
The eastern coastline stretches across the beautiful Adriatic Sea with ancient cities and towns nestled between the sea and the Balkan Mountains. If you're a foodie looking for new experiences, there are markets full of delicious cheeses, meats, summer fruits and vegetables, all kinds of seafood and fresh bread. In your non-working hours, you can sail the Croatian islands, visit national parks full of waterfalls, and if you're an adrenaline junkie, there are plenty of outdoor activities to take on. Traveling around Croatia is pretty easy if you want to take a day to visit Bosnia or Montenegro. The weather is warm and mild being in the Mediterranean and the cost of living is the best part. It's affordable for food, housing, and exploration. I had fast Wi-Fi at my Airbnb in Split and pretty decent Wi-Fi around the rest of the country. The only downside is if you are interested in working in co-working spaces, it's pretty limited. They're not dotted all over Croatia like they are in other countries, but there are plenty of cafes to work from if you need a change of atmosphere. And as a bonus, Earlier this year, Croatia announced a digital nomad visa that allows foreign nationals to live in Croatia for up to one year without the need for local employment or a sponsorship. This is a brand new visa that came out in January 2021, so make sure to check it out. Next up, we've got Portugal. Portugal, I would say, is pretty overlooked by people who are looking to travel to Europe, but it has all of the necessary requirements for digital nomads, which makes it even better. And let me just say that there's so much more to Portugal than Lisbon. The whole coastline is beaches galore and it's easy to travel between different places in Portugal by bus, train, or car if you decide to rent. Although if you want to travel between Portugal and surrounding countries like Spain, the best way is to fly so it's not as accessible to visit other countries. As a whole, Portugal is ahead of the curve in remote work because it has some of the best digital nomad cities in the world. There are so many co-working spaces to choose from, so really good networking opportunities, plus plenty of really cute, trendy working cafes. Portugal has an average of 300 sunny days a year, so winter feels more like spring. The cost of living in Portugal is slightly lower than Croatia, but still one of the lowest in Western Europe. It's one of the best places to live in Europe if you want first world living and European culture at a cheap cost. Slovenia is another not so widely known low cost destination in Europe. The capital Ljubljana is a small city and can easily be explored by walking or biking. There's a good amount of cool bars, cafes, and cultural events, so you will never get bored. The food is amazing. There are cheap yet gourmet places to eat everywhere. Slovenia is cheap compared to nearby Austria or Italy, but it's more expensive than most Eastern European countries and much cheaper than Western Europe. What I loved about Slovenia was how close I was to the mountains. I could easily make a day trip to the Alps by bus or train. It's also just a few hours away from the beaches in Croatia and Italy. In terms of accessibility, getting in and out of Slovenia is neither cheap nor easy. The airport is small and not many airlines fly in there. So honestly, you'd be lucky to find a cheap flight directly to Slovenia. Also, the expat digital nomad community is not as built up there. So there are there's a few working cafes. They do have solid Wi-Fi. I preferred working in my Airbnb personally, but either way, you will still find other like-minded people and extremely friendly and generous locals. Next on the list is Edinburgh. Ugh one of my favorite cities and is so worthwhile for a long visit. Edinburgh is a magnificent city with towering Gothic architecture and so many old and trendy pubs and cafes. Because it's prominent with universities, the city feels young and social and you'll feel a very warm welcome from Scots and foreigners alike. There's free and reliable Wi-Fi all over the city and a good amount of co-working cafes to choose from. Since the country is so small, you can make easy day trips and weekend vacations around the whole country and even around the UK, which is an absolute must. And while it's not a sunny destination where digital nomads typically like to head to, the main pull for Scotland is the scenery. Hiking or camping in the Highlands will take your breath away. You can literally feel magic oozing from everywhere you go in Scotland. Scotland has my highest desirability score, but the only downside is the cost of living is much, much more expensive than any other places that I would recommend digital nomads go to. Edinburgh is also cold for most of the year, so if weather is a factor in your choice, then definitely head there during the summer months. All right, 
we got Germany. A top metropolitan city for digital nomads is Berlin. Berlin is a lively and robust tech city, so speedy Wi-Fi is everywhere. There are endless cafes and co-working spaces to choose from. In terms of the cost of living, food is cheap everywhere and you can find affordable housing, but that takes some time to look for. One of the biggest cons about Berlin are the rising apartment rents. So if you wanna stay for a few months, then you must prepare for an intensive, time-consuming flat search. Many landlords in Berlin require proof of a full-time paying job and a history of payment from other rental establishments before letting you into their property. But did I mention the nightlife? The nightlife is crazy in Berlin. You will not be lacking on things to do. Berlin is also such an accessible city to get around. There are international train stations if you wanna to hop to a bordering country for a weekend and two international airports if you wanna go further. If you are planning on staying somewhere in Europe, of course, there are so many options that you can choose from, but definitely consider the last five that I just mentioned. I stay attuned to where the digital nomads love to be and the next few places that I have not yet stayed but I continue to hear amazing things about are Poland, Estonia, and Georgia. Both Georgia and Estonia offer year-round visas to people from all over the world that are relatively easy to apply for and receive. So definitely check those places out too in addition to the five I mentioned. If you are a digital nomad in this community, where have you stayed and where would you recommend me and everyone here watching go to next? If you are interested in locations outside of Europe, check out my playlist here on my channel. I've made quite a few videos in the last year about my remote work stints all over the world. And as always, let me know if you guys have any questions, drop your questions or comments down below. Please like this video. Please subscribe. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. And you can also always DM me on Instagram. Thank you for watching everyone. And until next time, take on the world.